Hey, what is up? My name. Oh my god, that was awful. Okay. Sweet Jesus, please, on your birthday, bring me some blessings. Hi everyone, my name is Anderson and this is my YouTube channel. And today we are filming, watching, making, creating episode number two of Burning Down the House. We are going to be making ginger molasses cookies that also happen to be vegan and gluten free and they are delicious. I made a batch last night, they were so good, I ate them all, had to make some more today. So today is episode number two of Burning Down the House. It's also Christmas today and uh, I'm all by myself. I will be seeing my family later, but it's kind of one of those weird things where this is my first Christmas all by myself. And it's kind of weird, I kind of like it, but it also just makes me think like, what is Christmas? What does Christmas mean to me? Um, so I've been in a very reflective, kind of contemplative mood. So maybe that will come out as we chat. Let's get into the kitchen and make some cookies. Okay, as we said, as I said, we, me, and my multiple personalities, as I said, I made these last night and they turned out delicious. Now, today though, I'm gonna add something a little bit different. I wanna add carrot to it. I already shredded the carrot and the ginger earlier because um, you know, I got time for that. So, I want to add carrot to it. Now, that could be, you know, questionable. So, we're going to experiment, see how it goes. I'm going to get all this stuff out because I'm clearly not prepared. Okay, I think that's it. Now, what I am going to do is look at the recipe that I used yesterday, which was, oh, molasses. That's I knew I need something. Molasses. 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 Okay, we need, first things first, two cups of all-purpose flour. Now, I bought, because my cousin is like full-on gluten-free and something else, my aunt doesn't eat eggs and plant-based and all kinds of different things as well, so I got almond flour and brown rice flour. And that's why these are gluten-free and vegan because I was just wanting to accommodate everyone in my fam, you know? I also have heard people, Sarah's day, talk about like almond flour or something like that is more flavorful and it was delicious. But let me tell you, it's hefty in price and hefty in like calories and stuff. Not like I care, but just as an example, 14 grams of this almond is 80 calories and 40 grams of this is 140. So that's... Well, I don't know, math. Anyways, let's get our bowl. Bowls out. This is gonna be the wet, this is gonna be the dry. So we need two cups. I'm gonna do one cup of this and one cup of this. Uh, yeah. One cup of that. It just looks so much more like rich kind of and luxurious. Like see? It's like thicker and kind of just looks more like creamier in a way. It's got a cream color. So, what are you guys doing for Christmas? This is what I'm doing. It's my first Christmas all by myself, which is okay. It's made me contemplate like, what is Christmas? What is, like, I've, I've seen my friends recently. I've, I've really connected with a lot of people. I've had like festive things going on with like parties and all that stuff, but something about it does feel a little weird. Like, what is Christmas? I haven't watched one Christmas movie. I think that is part of it. Cause like, I don't know, you just consider when you're a kid. But like, what's the adult version of Christmas? Man, this is giving me issues. Have you ever spent Christmas alone? Tell me how it feels. I'm, well, I'm going to see my family later. Like, bro, do you see what's happening here? Something tells me I want some more of this one, just to make it a little bit more. I don't, this is why it's burned down the house though, because I don't follow recipes and then I get detoured. That's okay though. I'm also going to add some flax, because flax is just good for us. It doesn't call for egg, but flax is kind of like egg replacer. So I'm just gonna, ooh, that's a hefty little pour. Uh, this is all done. So we've got our dry. I'm gonna add in my spices, my cinnamon. Good dump. Just go for it, you know? That's my way. My way or the highway. 
dry ingredients. Ooh, it also called for baking soda. I have baking powder. It's, we're just gonna kinda go with it, okay? Dump some of that in there. This is done now. I feel like a little bit of salt. Oh, it probably needs sugar. Which, I think instead of sugar, I'm going to use the maple syrup. Mm -hmm. I used sugar yesterday and something in it was too granular. So I think that's the dry ingredients done. A little bit more cinnamon, just because. And a little bit more nutmeg. Okay, dry ingredients done. Now the wet ingredients. So we have this ginger, which is I don't know how much. I think it said something like a teaspoon. One teaspoon. That's probably like a tablespoon. Yeah, that's definitely a tablespoon. But I want more because I'm adding the carrot. Bowl is how much? It's one carrot. I'm just gonna go. Let's just go for it. That is the carrot, the ginger. What calls next? Oh, melted coconut oil. I know that. How much? Oh, it called for butter, but I'm doing vegan, so one half cup. This is the kind of thing, though, where while I'm doing this, I feel like this is so not entertaining. And then I, this is why I film. I have so many videos that I've filmed and not posted or even bothered to edit because I just judge them <laughs> from the start. Now, this called for one half cup. This is one third of a cup. And it asked for it melted, but it's like soft, so we're just gonna go with that. So one third of a cup of coconut oil, because that's just what I felt like. And then, this molasses. Now this molasses, I'm actually gonna do last. This milk is just for extra, just, it doesn't call for it, but this is some oat milk. I just wing it, you know? I just make it how I think I would like it, and go from there. Now this is gonna need a lot, because I put a lot of ginger. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six. That's what, like an ounce? Mm -hmm. A shot, I mean? Yeah, like an ounce. And then molasses, well, mmm. It calls for a half cup, but I'm just gonna pour it. Oh man, what is happening? Look at that one. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. That was delicious. I didn't even taste it. It just like. Beautiful. Okay, I think I'm actually done with these. Oh my gosh, yay, look, maybe I'm getting better at this. But it's again, time management. I'm supposed to be going somewhere for Christmas. I think my time management is off. Now I should probably preheat the oven, mix these two together. It was 350 it wanted it at, and, oh wait, no. Cancel. Never mind, because you have to, uh, uh, cool it, chill it for 30 minutes. So, I'm gonna mix this together now. Something about this, I just, I'm, I don't know, I'm gonna give it a dry mix first. Yeah, I feel like, I never know the consistency it needs to be. Like, I should probably just follow the recipe as is, but I feel like it's never, okay, we're going for it. Oh yeah. Oh. Ooh. Okay, okay. There's always pieces that get left behind. I feel bad for them. See, it didn't even call for liquid. How is it supposed to, like, liquefy itself? It's the carrot and the oil. Oh my gosh, it's looking so delicious. It's the smell, oh, it's so, like, mmm. If you know the smell of molasses, I love that. But with everything, it's just so comforting smelling. Oh, oh, this is great. Do you guys have any family traditions on Christmas? Is, that, is there anything that your family does? Let me know. Because mine, usually, we all have dinner, but my grandparents moved this year, uh, so we are having it at a different place. And then my other family, my mom is working on today, and it just seems, feels like one of those weird years where things, just a lot of things have changed and happened, so like, our usual traditions aren't even there. And also, my family is quite like a divorced family, and like, but it, in a lot of ways, it's sort of like I have to go here and here and here and here. And I know that's so common, really, but it's also like I just dream of the day where everyone can come to my house and I just have everybody. I know that's, and then I'm like, oh dang, that's a lot of work, but maybe I'll have people that I can hire to help me because I want everyone to come together, I want everyone to be like family and spend time, but it just can be hard. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. 
pretty decent, but I just feel like it's so granular. I just want a little bit more liquid to it. Let me try a piece. Mmm. I think it's really good. Mmm. The maple syrup and the molasses. Ooh. Just a splash. Splash. Who knows? If we wing it, it could be great. It could be awful. You just never know what you're getting yourself into with it. I'm going to mix this up now, and then I'm going to chill it. So I'm going to do that and then get back to you. A little coffee time intermission as we wait for the cookie dough to chill. This is my coffee. It's delicious and it is uh, medicinal mushroom infused. It is infused with reishi and it has so many good things for your body and for you in it. It tastes delicious and it's just overall like changed my life for real. So this is how easy peasy it is. Take this, we flip them upside down and cut from the bottom don't know why the cut from the bottom makes a difference, but we do reuse the sachets and they get sent to Thailand where impoverished women or women with low income, they receive these and they like fold them and turn them into bags and purses and then are able to sell them. So there does serve a purpose as to why um, it's in a sachet and it also just allows for the same serving every time. Uh, you get consistency and taste and in the dosage of the medicinal mushroom. I add in some boiling water. Ding dong, thank you, chong. Dun, 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 like that. I don't like it too watered down. I do like my coffee fairly strong. And then a little bit of oat milk. Oat milk and everything. I actually just tried oat milk for the first time, but like that, I honestly don't even mix it. It just blends in itself. If you look, like look how frothy and nice that is. Can you see? I know it's hard to tell. It's good, good stuff. Oh, that's good, it's so good. Oh, I love this stuff. Like it's almost chocolatey. It t it's like I'm drinking chocolate, but I'm not. Literally, it's coffee, mushroom, and this. Oh, that's good. That is so good. As we sit here and wait, I just did the dishes, put them in the dishwasher, that's me improving. Let's just have a quick little chat about life because, because life. <laughs> so this is my first Christmas, as I've probably said 50 times already, alone. And it's one of those things that's just very interesting. Like I've been in a relationship in the past, for the past couple years, uh, two different ones. So like that was a long stretch of time where Christmas I had a partner and then before that I was younger at home. So now that I'm like an adult and I live by myself, I don't have kids or any of those things and my mom is working, like it's just interesting when I reflect on like what is Christmas? Like I didn't wake up this morning and open gifts with anyone and maybe I could have if I wanted to but it's like if you know I didn't I don't want to be surrounded by people just because it's Christmas and I feel like I have to be but it is nice to be around people on Christmas because it's Christmas you know so it's one of those weird things I don't think any of what I just said really served a purpose um, it's interesting that's what I'll leave it at for now I guess for me in a lot of ways I do isolate myself like I know I probably could have had full plans like literally just forgot what I was saying. I don't know, I just, my articulation skills today, they're just not here, they have left the building. So I love the idea of waking up with people and, and making breakfast and everyone goes and does Christmas morning and breakfast and, and presents and just hang out, like that sounds amazing to me. Alas, I am here alone in Toronto. And it's not even snowing outside, it's like warm. I went for a walk earlier. You haven't clicked out of this video yet. Give it a like. And uh, I'm gonna just go chill as I wait for the dough to chill. Hmm. TTYM. Wow. We have returned. I believe that the dough should be good, but I forgot about these. So I'm gonna get these ready first. Now, I have really truly been eating like a maniac this holiday season. And that is something I would like to address. Now, I've been noticing that I've just been eating so much junk, like literally just living off chips or carbs and like pasta and sugar and chocolate because it's Christmas. It's like, ugh. I really have been making more of an effort as of yesterday to get more whole foods back in my diet. But 
I still wanted something kind of festive. And one of my students actually gave me uh, ginger cookies for Christmas. They were delicious. So then I decided to make them. And when I made them last night, it's actually super easy. And that's why I figured to adding in the like molasses with the iron and adding in the carrots, like these gotta be so healthy. And with not even using sugar, just molasses, like, or just the maple syrup, maybe that is not so healthy, but I feel like at least when it's made like from scratch, it's a little bit healthier. Let's see how this is going. Okay, pretty decent. Now, I don't know though, when I scoop it, I feel like it's just gotta be with a spoon, because yesterday the heat from my hands was making it just like melt. I'm just gonna go like this and go bam, like that. Just like bam, this one too, bam. Now, they're kind of like their own unique shape. That's what's nice about it. Bam, bam. It looks kind of like a diarrhea poo, but I'm sure they'll turn out lovely. Thing is though too, that they cook very fast, like only 10 minutes, which is great. I never know how, like how do people bake and make it all spread out like just so nicely. Like mine is the most random pattern. I need some house training. Bam, bam. We're just moving along now, I'm confident. Bam. This looks like actual dog food, like legit. It really does. We're gonna have confidence and faith. I do wish it was a little bit more like shape that it just plopped, but I don't know how to do that. Honestly, I'm gonna just eat this. What? I could have sworn. Oh wait, no. Cancel. Never mind. I could have sworn. What an idiot. Is this like the least festive video you've ever watched? I feel the least like festive I've ever felt. Right in this moment. Well, maybe not sure, but kind of. I'm a mess. These are gonna be delicious. I'm very proud of myself. Oh, so good. Mm, because the mushroom is uh, alkalizing, so that means it, it takes away the acidity. It is like so smooth and just like, where you know normal coffee, it just tastes a little bit like it's been through the car, like been through motor oil. It's like, mm, no. This stuff though, smooth, baby, smooth. We'll wait for this to preheat. Push it, baby, push it. And really though, like, you can't try to tell them it doesn't look like a hamburger. It does. So, these ones legit, like, look at it. We don't judge by looks, we judge by taste. We're gonna put them in now, and we're gonna leave them for 10 minutes. I'm gonna set it and forget it. Actually, no, I'm gonna do seven minutes. Here we go. We'll check back in in seven minutes. And I think I'm gonna go do my hair a little bit and my makeup because I just, my self-esteem today is just not at a peak. I can't tell if it's because I'm burning it or if it's the wax paper, but there's smoke. So, let's see. <laughs> They're looking quite moist, if you will, but not too shabby. Guys, this is like the weirdest day ever. I'm just not in mood. Just weird, I've got lots to be thankful for. It's just today, and like tomorrow, I know I'm gonna see a whole bunch of people. I'm gonna see a whole bunch of people in a couple hours, but there's just something that feels lonely about just being alone. You know, I'm like going to those places alone. Going to those family places alone, leaving alone. And like, it's fine. But there is something nice in having someone with you. Maybe I'll do my makeup while I wait. For real this time. Okay, we're just gonna do this right here, right now, super quick. There's five minutes left on the oven. So we're gonna just try to do this as fast as possible. And this time we're not gonna put green on the eyelids cause that was a major mistake. I literally looked at this and was like, let me put green on my eyelid. I mean, it's a beautiful color. I've always wanted to use it. That one right there, I just went all over. It was a disaster. I really do wanna know cause like I have family. So I'm interested when people who like, if their parents have passed away or if whatever the situation, if they've lived out of the same country as their family. Like I know a bunch of people 
and some of them they just travel on Christmas so then they're they're just out oh they're doing something different what do you do if you don't have like something happening I guess that's where you have to find your own tribe make your own tribe of people I just also didn't foresee this coming but I did I did and I didn't okay we're doing this on a rush don't forget I'm trying to move quickly just to spice it up a little you know it's Christmas let's just look a little lovely okay throw some glitter on your eyebrows spice it up where is it this is the, literally the saddest makeup situation you've ever seen like this eyeshadow I probably had I'm not even joking you for 10 years and I just dust it right on my brows just to darken them up I went to Vegas for middle of December for a conference sales and marketing and it was good I'm just not like a Vegas type person either but I I didn't do any exploring it would have been nice I just went there straight for the thing and left right away so if I had have given myself time to explore I think I might have had a better experience it was the second time I went the first time I went was atrocious absolutely atrocious and it wasn't anybody's fault but my own I won't go there I'm sure you can put two and two together yeah I was 19 the first time I went and this time now I'm 26 so at least I had a bit more wisdom barely but just enough and I also didn't have time I was there for a conference so most of the time was just in the thing learning and then you go after it go get some food and go to bed because you do it all again tomorrow I'm also just like I'm not trying to stay up and party only that just ain't me no more how are we doing for time I bought mascara but I bought waterproof and I'm freaking hate it so I'm gonna use my old one because I actually hate waterproof I washed my face three times and the mascara still didn't come off like who the hell needs mascara that strong I washed my face three times I feel like I'm running late but I don't know what for and also it's Christmas, like stop stressing yourself out. If you're late, you're late, who cares? That's why I'm late for everything. <laughs> Did I actually just do my minute, my makeup in less than five minutes? The buzzer hasn't gone off yet. There we go. Just a quick little polish. Maybe even have some time up left over for highlight. Well, there we go. How's that for a holiday look? Okay, the cookies should be ready. Gotta let them cool. It smells really good and it smells really Christmassy and almost like apple. Maybe that's the carrot though. Nope, they need more time. They're not crispy. I just get to a point where I'm over it. Like the fun is not here anymore. <laughs> like it doesn't look good at all. Why do people do this? Like, or how do they do it and make it look nice? Like, I don't know what to do with this. What do I do? Help me. Oh, coconut. I wanted to do coconut on them. We're gonna try this and just actually there we go that's cool let them cool down that way here's what they look like literally look like turds of shit <laughs> oh sweet lord like what <laughs> oh well whatever I tried man the ones I made yesterday they were fucking so good so good man why all right, well, okay, it might not be so bad after all. Now, the thing is that I just want them to look better. Everybody likes coconut, right? Okay, I'm gonna have this little one. We're gonna try this one. I don't get a hint of anything. I don't taste the molasses. I don't taste the maple syrup, and I don't taste the ginger. They're good, though. They just don't taste anything. Mmm, it's good, but it needs more sweet. I'm gonna put one of these, one drop on top. I'm not giving it to anybody. See, baking just always turns out to be so much more work than you expect. Drizzle, drizzle, drizzle. A little drizzle on top. Okay, we're getting there, people. Progress. Drizzle, 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 drizzle. How many times can one person say, Drizzle, drizzle. Okay, I think that's kind of best. Then we're gonna just put a little coconut on it. And honestly, I'm so, I'm so done with this. I'm ready to move on. Okay, and we do a little shakey shake of this and a shake a shake of that. Shake a shake of this. This is basically like story of my life. Nothing is simple. Like this is just supposed to be some ginger molasses cookies. You get some ginger molasses, maple syrup, carrot and coconut cookies. I don't know how to simplify. They're not so terrible. They're okay looking. Maybe I can get my family to do a live taste test. Maybe that will be fun. 
I'll get them to rate my cookies. <laughs> I'm gonna wrap it up here. Yeah, have a great Christmas holiday, whatever you're doing, if you're alone, if you're with family, if you're with loved ones, if you're rich, if you're poor. Um, I hope you find a way to enjoy the day because that's what it is all about. And remember that at the end of the day, it's just another day. Tomorrow will be, it'll all be over, you know, just like that. So that's it, that's all. Thank you for watching. Thanks for being my companionship on this day that I felt kind of lonely and um, we'll talk to you again soon. Enjoy the rest of the video and enjoy that little taste test uh, if my family agrees to do it. Okay, Rainy, tell me how you think of it. Take a bite. No, 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 stay over here. Okay, take a bite. Tell me what you think. Scale of one to ten. Ten. You didn't even try it. Don't care. Seven. Ooh, seven. It's like gingerbread. Yes, that's the goal. I don't like that. Okay, Callie. Scale of one to ten. First impression. Go. Pressure's on. Pressure's on. I like it. It's yes. Like yes. Oh my God. Okay, scale it. What do you give it? I give it an eight. Oh my goodness. Avery, do you want to try? What? Tell me what you think. Scale of one to ten. Nine. Nine! Oh my goodness! Yeah! You guys are the best! Yeah. Scale of one to ten. The kids gave me a nine. You okay. know one to ten, they didn't realize there's multiple numbers in there. Oh, they smell so good! I don't have a good. comparison, I'll give you a seven. Ho, 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 and Merry Christmas! <laughs> okay, so... <sighs> It does look like a hamburger. What are you doing today? Because I am here talking to myself. I'm just not having it. I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to bring you my best. But my heart just ain't in it. I feel like an idiot. Literally. I was in Las Vegas when I was flying around like the jet setter I am. And then, I, like, why am I supposed to put up this video where I'm just rambling? There's no value, there's no entertainment, hardly. Well, there's probably a better way of doing this.